Hello YouTube, this is Q Dragon. Uh, I've been a bit busy this week, so there'll only be one brainstorm segment. But first, I'd like to uh, make a few uh, announcements. First announcement is a big thank you to Concordance, who uh, made a little congratulation video about my graduating high school. Thank you, Concordance. And thank you to all the people who have subbed and left channel comments and uh, sent me messages, etc. Second announcement I would like to make is basically just asking you guys, also the new subscribers, uh, any changes or additions you would like to make to Brainstorm. Now, I know some of you may say that I should uh, host, but I think for now definitely uh, Jack is going to r remain the host of Brainstorm and I will continue to edit and uh, write. Now one of the reasons Jack will remain the host, besides the fact that she's much better at it than I am, is because starting this summer I plan to start making a second video series for this summer video series uh, myself and my friends would be on camera and the hope is that I would be able to set up a miniature lab in my house and actually do some uh, genetic experiments and synthetic biology. If I did do this series on synthetic biology I was thinking of doing a Kickstarter to actually fund uh, or getting an actual camera and lab equipment that would be necessary for the experiments. So I'm not officially announcing that yet, I just wanted to know what you guys thought about that. Uh, so let me know in the comments. And uh, here is Jack with Brainstorm. Our only story is an update from the world of chemistry. Researchers from the UK are developing a new and simple method for water sterilization. Unclean water is a major issue in rural and undeveloped parts of the world, with many waterborne pathogens being debilitating or even life-threatening. However, finding a simple and convenient way to clean water in these remote regions has proved challenging. Chemicals are an option, but that requires a lot of transportation and careful administration. Other systems often require electricity to kill microbes, which, as you might have guessed, isn't very practical. Which is where this new system comes in, based on a toxic form of oxygen. It was originally being developed to kill cancer, but the researchers realized it could also kill deadly microbes. Molecules called porphyrins would coat glass beads with water flowing over them, and exposed to sunlight, the molecules break down into that oxygen. This does require the beads to be replaced or recoded after a while, but once optimized, it will hopefully be a helpful system for water treatment. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.